Now in the last tutorial we have seen functions and we have seen various flavors of functions. In this video we will see another flavor which is anonymous function. Now anonymous means a function which is without name, a function which is not having any name. All right. So let us try to understand more about functions with a real life example. All right. So let's say you have hired a cook, right? And he comes to your house every day and do some tasks for you, right? And these tasks are kind of repetitive. Every day he cooks food for you, right? So that is the purpose of function always, right? So you have a common piece of code which you call over and again, and that function returns you value according to that, all right? Obviously, you can pass some arguments that I want to eat this thing today and I want to eat that thing today and your output would be based on that input that you feed into that function. All right. So knowing name of your cook is very important for you, right? Because how would you call him, right? You would be calling him with some arguments. Okay, uh, X, Y, Z. I want to eat, uh, let's say sandwich today. So the name of the cook is kind of a function name and the instructions that you give to him for example, you want to eat sandwich is kind of an argument to it, right? And in the output, you would be getting a real sandwich, all right? So that's why calling a function or calling your cook is kind of same thing, all right? Now, knowing name of your cook is important, right? Because you need to call him every day, giving instructions every day. So that's why you create a function for it. Now, let's say you go to a restaurant and in that restaurant you find a chef who prepares something for you right so you are not going to that restaurant every day so that's why it is not very important for you to give name to that chef right you can just pass on some instruction you still have some communication you still are giving some arguments to it but you it is not important for you to give name to that chef right you can just call him with some salutation or something and just get your work done and then come back home all right so for such things where the usage is limited where you don't want to do some actions every day for such things we create anonymous function but for things which we want to operate every day or a lot of times in the code for that we use normal functions i hope this makes sense and we jump on to an example of anonymous functions so like i said I use let's say let result and I'm not going to give name to this anonymous function. So what I can do, I can use the keyword function without the name. I can just use these round brackets and then curly braces. I can just give the instructions, right? And if you want to pass arguments in these round brackets, you can also pass arguments. So for example, a number B number, right? And you want to return a plus B, right? So in the curly braces, you are returning these two values. Now, how do you access this? What, what is exactly the meaning of this? Let's say you want to have the value of this result with two arguments. So you just need to use this variable name. So result with two arguments, 10 comma 20, right? It is going to give you the value, which is 200. So the function that you have defined here is an anonymous function. It is not having any name. So that's how we create anonymous functions. Now we'll see another example which is about lambda expression or you can say arrow function, right? In this, we also need not use the keyword function. So var or let message equals here. I'm directly using these round brackets and the special symbol that you need to use here is equal greater than, right? This means you are going to define this function, all right? So in the function definition, what I'm doing is I'm just printing on console. Hello, Kamal, right? So message whenever I want to use this message I'm just using this name message and then round brackets so it will perform that task for me this is lambda expression now you would be using this thing very frequently when you will be working with WebDriver IO and any framework for example Jasmine or Mocha right so we'll be using pretty much this kind of syntax and you can see a look at one of the test cases how it looks like obviously it is going to give us error here in this typescript playground unless we download and install all the web driver io related stuff here so till that time just ignore the syntax errors or whatever errors that you see here but just kind of take a look at the expressions that we have used here so you can see here we have used describe block and after that we have used equal greater than 
and for it block also we have used this lambda expression right so we'll talk about this later in our web driver io tutorials and we'll be discussing about this in very much detail i'll see you in the next video